in your own introduction. Yeah. You say you read petrochemical engineering, engineering, exactly, which is not here in Nigeria. Nigeria, yeah, Nigeria, yeah. Which Study. is why I graduate. Yeah, I'm sharing the narratives with Mr. B. How you doing? Yo, how you doing? What's up? Good, good. And you? You look good. Thanks, and you too. I'm doing great. I'm okay. doing great. Yeah, yeah. Nice to meet you, sir. It's my pleasure. You know, as I just see you like this, my my mind they be like say, nah, nah, you are one they follow the work. So. <laughs> <laughs> because it make cooler for your body. Abi, <laughs> it's really a pleasure meeting you anyway. All right, sir. Yeah. Okay, sir. Please, I'm gonna ask you one or two questions through this interview. Okay. We are doing this for educational purpose, like sharing from your whole life experience here in Europe. Yeah. All right. Before I come back to give you a minute for you to introduce yourself to the audience. Okay. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you, my great viewers, depending on the place you are watching us from. We are back with another episode of this program, Changing the Narratives, seeing it the way it is in the city of Rome. We are here with our big brother, as you can yeah. see him. Although, don't just guess where he's from. He's going to do the formal introduction. And before then, I just want to urge you, please stay tight at the end of this broadcast. And don't equally forget to help us like, share, and leave your comments for us in the comment section. Yes, and without yes. wasting much of your time, let us talk to him as he do the proper introduction. Please, can you okay. introduce yourself to them? Yeah, good afternoon, viewers, uh, wherever you are watching for. Yeah, my name is uh, Mr. Julius Omachala Inaju, or you can you can refer me as an engineer because I read pet petroleum, uh, petrochemical engineering. Oh, wow. So, currently, I live here in Rome, in Italy. As you can see, we are in a... Uh, one of the most busiest places in Rome, in Italy. So that's where we are right now. God bless you all. Thank you so much, sir. There's something that struck me in your own introduction. Yeah. You said you read petrochemical Chemical engineering. engineering. Exactly. Which is not here in Nigeria. Nigeria, yeah, Nigeria, yeah. Which Study. is your graduate. Yeah, I'm a graduate, sir. OK, sir, let me ask. Have you Taking that route, uh, that route, studying, taking years in school and everything, making sacrifices too for, you know? Yeah. So what makes you to decide to leave all those things behind and then? You know, my people used to say, they say it's a long story actually. Beg, but uh, yes, yes, I'm going to be brief because of the, for this interview. Yeah, after studying the... Uh, Petrochemical engineering, and I look to the system of Nigeria. It's no, it's no longer helpful because, uh, as you see, they say there's one video that I watch one time. They say you can get connected by knowing somebody, and yeah. when you don't know somebody, you'll not be connected. You understand? So by the time I graduated, it was very difficult, like to look for a job. So I tried to say, like, okay, what do I do? Since I don't have somebody who is working or who is a uh, an MD in the NPC or whatever, parasata government, parasata. So that's okay. I have to fight for. My life. So in this, I have to take uh, this show by like going to uh, Europe to to break new grounds. So hmm. that is why we are here today. Wow. Okay. So I hope you did not let the Europe have you fly off. <laughs> yeah. In any way. Anyway. Yeah. In any way. I'm in Europe today. No, so no problem. Yes. Yes. Yeah. In any no, way. I'm here. I ask you. Yes. Yes. In any way. I'm in Europe. So I won't want to say oh. either by air okay. or by land. Okay. But actually, I'm in Europe. Okay, so let's yes. ask that uh, aspect now. Okay. okay, sir. You decided to left uh, to leave Nigeria because of the way things were going. Right? Yes. Okay, so what was your first primary motive? Yeah. You no, know, having certificate at hand. Yes. You understand? I don't know whether you were working in Nigeria before just deciding to leave. Okay, yeah. Actually, in Nigeria, I worked in Nigeria. Actually, my most time which i wouldn't want to lie mm. most of my time working in nigeria i work in a big five-star hotel which is protea hotel in nigeria then after which uh, i was i also have the opportunity to work in an option although just for i think one year about mm. but the management then they were not paying according to what uh, because it was shared that gave them the contract according mm. to what she was paying them because it's like a private enterprise mm. So they were not paying or living up to uh, Expectation. expectations. After a month, and it, you know, the delay in payment of salary was so frustrating. Mm. You understand? As a result of that, so I just have to like, it's okay. What do I do? I can't continue like this because it's like you are working as an elephant eating like and it's not it's not recommendable and it's not uh, agreeable. You know, looking to the frustration as a graduate and you are seeing what is happening. Mm. You know, you have to like 
find other means to make sense me. So okay. that's, that's that, why. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Now let me ask. Eventually, you left. I believe you have a, a very a big vision, or you had a lot of things that gives you that energy yeah. or that morale yeah. to say, okay, Europe is the best option, right? <laughs> okay. Finally, I will got you to this very place. What you were expecting there and what you met here, was there anything different? Yeah. Uh, when I left uh, Nigeria, you know, before I left, I contested the year 20, 2012 as a councillor in my local government. You oh. understand? Yes, I contested as a councillor. So by the time I came in, uh, I would bought a form, I did everything to become a councillor. But when I came in, they said uh, somebody was... If somebody came in before you, so as a result of that, uh, we will not be able to like uh, give you this opportunity. Okay, you come back. Uh, the next thing I say, ah, let's give a try for everybody because it's like it's a free world, and secondly, uh, everybody is entitled to his own uh, what is it called chances of winning the vote or whatever uh, when it comes to like uh, election. Election, you understand? They said, oh, you have to wait. So as a result, I said, no, I'm not going to wait. So during this period, a lot of challenges. People were like calling. But you have to step down. If you don't step down, there's going to be problems. I just put like a lot of tension here and there just to contest as a counselor. You know, because the reason why I really got into uh, politics, I am personally, I love politics because, okay. uh, you know, when you are when you don't participate in politics, you'll be governed by lunatics, you'll be governed by people who don't have knowledge. Don't even Let's say left, to left right. and right. That is, why we, that is the reason why you are seeing bad governance today because most people, most of them who are governing us today do not even go through these uh, stationary institutions, you mm. understand? So, so they have not read far. They don't know the difference between how to render that services. Mm. Because what they just believe, by the time they just grab the power or snatch the boss and became a chairman, local government chairman, uh, governor, and so on, they can just do undo. Mm. Rather than the main subject of like, the main aim of, of becoming, of being uh, in that policy is to serve. You understand? Mm. Not to be an uh, authoritarian, not to become uh, somebody who cannot listen to the people. Mm. So when I watch the news, I listen, to, I read newspaper, and I saw what is happening. It touches my heart. I said, okay, fine. Let's go into this policy to make a change. But by the time I decided to come in, the situation was not favorable. Mm. So because of the stress and the, the what do you call, threatening, I said, okay, let me just leave and... Maybe sometimes they say, he who fight around needs to fight another day. Mm. So I can just go back next time. Okay, let's go into this politics proper. So that is the reason why I came. came into, uh, when I came to Europe, as at the end I arrived in Europe, which I don't want to mention the date anyway, okay. for my for security purpose. So at the, at the time I arrived in Europe, so what I see actually, yes, beats my mind. And really, the governments are working, seriously. Okay. When it comes to government aspect, the governments are working. The, Hospitality and everything is wow. Mm. It's why it's quite different from what is happening in Nigeria. Mm. Really different, to be frank. Mm. Okay, so which is to say, in another way, you were not disappointed in the aspect of government. No, when I say, yes, yes, when I came here, I wasn't disappointed in the aspect of government. The government is really doing a great job. It's really doing a great job. But just that the only changes, the only thing that were like, ah, Africa is good and is uh, is good if really. Uh, the government are really working is that one the the association the free life uh, i don't know maybe free life party weekend party and all the rest mm. of you enjoy back home then you know the family relatives mm. which year the family relative uh, situation is not that too strong in this okay. part of the world but in africa you see families mm. we always pack families alone. alone you understand so i think that is one of the major problems and so uh, that is one of the major things that I observed when I, I came to this place. And secondly, one thing that I really want to say, okay, if really you are doing work in Nigeria, there's no need of social security. You want to just come and relocate to Europe. Mm, okay. That is one major thing because I have seen from experience, from experience, there's nothing somebody will tell me to this. As far as I'm here in mm. Europe, there's nothing you will tell me to say, okay, uh, Europe, uh, maybe if you are doing well in Nigeria, you should just vacate your job, quit your job, and come to Europe. No, mm. I okay. will just uh, you want to tell advise. Me now that there are a lot of people who I came across that had uh, businesses in Africa. Mm. A lot of them study like the way you study. Yes, a, a lot, lot of, of them, them have stores. Yeah, they just because of maybe they, seeing they you feel, very yeah, yeah, like they feel now. that uh, yeah, just when you come to Europe, everything. Mm. It's not just 
everything is not like a platter of gold, you understand? When you come here, there's the processes you undergo. Okay. And this process is not just three, six months. It's, it's going to take you a year, two months mm. to, to blend with the people, to associate with the people, you understand? Mm. Most especially if you decide, maybe if you, a kind of person maybe, or the place you, you happen to visit or relocate to, it may be the language barriers. Okay. The language barrier is one of the major problems. So sometimes when you, we are coming to Europe, you have to know the country you are visiting. The country you are visiting matters a lot to, to you as a person. Because if you go to a country who does, who does not speak, maybe they don't speak English as much, they, they speak their native language. So you, it's going to take you like one to three years to, to be able to adapt to the system. So with that, if you are in a... Maybe if you're in Nigeria, you see within that two years you would have maybe get getting more momentous or getting more business uh, associate and all the rest of. But anyway, living in Europe is good, friendly, security. Otherwise, everything is good and nice. Okay, okay, yes. sir. Listen, uh, I want to quickly ask you this question because it interests me to know that you you are more or less like a politician. Yeah, exactly. Okay, not that you are more or less you are a politician. Exactly. Okay, haven't uh, contested yeah. or make an attempt mm. to contest for a counselor, which will say you are, you you understand the, the basic yes, the principles. Yes, the exactly. Okay, now, you have tested politics in Nigeria. You have yeah. tested politics. Uh, you have seen politics, politics ways we play, yes. we play here. Exactly. What do you think is the major problem that makes our politicians living in Africa visiting this place mm. and at the getting end they the knowledge of this very place yes. how things are being done here how things are functioning here and still returning back to africa yes. and not able to implement the what things they, they, see. they see or saw yeah. in this very place yeah actually it's really painful and sad that uh, you see our politics most especially the ones the ones that space me used to be seeing our president visiting europe going around other countries Search, searching for uh, investors, searching for people to come to Nigeria to come and invest is an error. Mm. They will not even learn. That is the most painful part. They won't learn because okay, but it's not okay. Just look at this environment. Look at if somebody build the houses now, if government want to uh, construct road, they will make sure they flood the road down to the earth so that there will not be sand or maybe mm. sand that will or be more, affected so that direct. there will not be uh, dirty on the road. But our government will see this, even the way they, at least they should start from somewhere. Okay, even those, okay, fine. As you see, this environment is very nice. Yeah. Okay, fine. What will I do as a, a president? I have the power to make sure, okay, I'm, I'm sitting in Abuja. Let's start from Abuja. Mm. You will make everywhere in Abuja just look like this. Then the next turn of, maybe next year, you can as well make, extend, your hand. extend the hand to another state. Mm. You keep doing it before you know, before. Uh, five presidents came into power maybe under 20 years you see that the whole africa or the world or the whole nigeria would just be like europe but they won't just start from somewhere they will just be shadish uh, shadish uh, chasing shadow why are they uh, chasing shadow mr president mm. you guys senators uh, senators house of rep but you guys are shady, uh, chasing shadows just concentrate on the routine mm. first like what we are facing right now this hardship of it is this hardship have to be dealt with but by dealing with the hardship is by going into industrialization of farming mm. mechanization mm. this is the most priority they need to do now buy tractors give it to local government let them go into farming mechanization farming not just ordinary uh, individual farming invest in them mm. make loans affordable for these people grants not by say giving everyone earth as collectors give the grants since everybody now have a uh, majority of the nigerians now have NIN, which is National Education Numbers. Mm. They now have it. You can easily trace everybody. Mm. Then everybody can pay up their loans or grants. You don't make things so difficult for the people. This life is, is short and big for everybody to live in. Mm. And you guys can make changes mm. if really you want to do the right thing. Just start from somewhere. You know, just every but you guys keep, uh, what is it called? Spending money unnecessarily. Just the last time, immediately they swore the present government in. You budgeted the, what is it called? Almost 40 billion just to repair, uh, to renovate uh, the vice president's lodge mm. house. For what for? Do you know how much charters 40 billion can get for Nigeria? Then, if you share the 40 billion charters, let's say each charter cannot even cost 1 billion. Mm. Then, if you now share it to state, do you know what you is going to do to the economy? They, these guys, they are not just, they are not rational, they don't think. So, that is just the most painful part. 
But I pray God that one day I will have the opportunity to govern Nigeria. Mm. That is what I want to say. Okay, let me ask you now. If, for instance, now you are given the opportunity now, now that you have seen uh, the the life of a politician or the, the politics mm. that is being played in Europe here, yeah. you also experienced it, you enjoyed it. So what will you do different? Yes, I will do something different. I want to make an instance, like what is happening in Abia State. Or for instance, Abia State, the Abia government, uh, Alex Oti, the governor, or the Labour Party, who was constructing, what is it called, a bus stop. When you look at the bus stop compared to the one in Europe, it similarizes the city. That is what this government has, uh, Nigerian government, uh, governors, state governors, local government, president are supposed to be doing. If we take what is happening in the Western world, we bring it starting from somewhere. You understand? Don't look, see, some people will say the kabar, there is no kabar anywhere. You believe no kabar? There is no kabar. If you, if you want to do the right thing, you will do it. Okay, I want to make an instance now for what is happening in River State now. This political torso, like the, uh, the governor of uh, River State, uh, Fubara. Uh, Fubara, Fubara didn't give uh, what is it called? Wiki. Yes, or wicked the FCT minister the access for him to control him. You understand? You know, the recent just concluded the local government election, they just yeah, did. Yeah. They just did. The when he saw that the party which brought into power, which is the People's Democratic Party, the PDP, will not be able to stand for him. He, he bring in another party, introduce another party, and then by not give all the votes, nearly all the votes to that party. It, they can do anything. It's not just about Kaba, it's just about the we. Do you have the we to do it? You know, I love this man, Peter Obi. Mm. I pray God that they will give us Peter Obi one day. Because our people, sometimes when it gets to election, I don't know the way they think. They will just forget all the suffer they've just suffered for a very long time. They will just be going for ethnicity and religion. And this is one of the major problems. You know, this. even when this man was coming, we know this man cannot do where they said he governed Lagos. I was watching a video this morning on my way coming to Rome. I was watching a video this morning when I saw that uh, someone was just doing a video of how flood, rainfall, everywhere the cup and everybody the garden was filled with water. So the first one says, uh, somebody was saying, uh, this man, uh, what is it called, build Lagos. He said, is it how to build a place? When you after building a place, when you become a governor, you cannot just come out during it. You mm. see, all the drainage that is here is underground. You won't see water. Even when rain falls right now, immediately you see all the water goes back down. Yeah. This is what these guys are supposed to learn. Okay, even right now, two weeks uh, vacation of uh, Mr. President was in UK. Now he has traveled to France. Doing what? How many times has France government visited Nigeria? How many times has UK government visited Nigeria? So you see, the last time he was in Qatar, the last time he was in, in China. See, if your country is doing well, there is no need of you searching for them. Investors will come for you. Mm -hmm. It's just like, they say, if you defecate here right now, or you pour something like sweet honey here, you won't call the flies to come. Fly will come and perish. Because they, they know they are... They, they, they because they know the sweetness is there. Mm -hmm. So if Nigeria is good, the government has done the right thing. Investors will come without you visiting. Nigeria's politicians, learn, learn, learn. You people don't go to school, apply for extramural classes. They will give it to you in free hand so that you people can do the right thing. Okay, listen, you know, I, I just want to chip in this very one. Uh, I think uh, this morning I was listening to uh, Arise News. Okay. Journalists and uh, this uh, Ojini Kaupe and okay. uh, Abat. Yeah. Abati. Abati. Yeah, Abati. And they showcase a video where the first lady. Yes, yes. Donated. Yeah, one billion era. Just so. so you know, I was even wanted to do a video, uh, what is it called, to comment on on that. Because, okay, how can Oni of Ife went and, and, and uh, what is it called, went and made an image of the first lady uh oluremi tinibu of a golden status knowing that on what instance on what uh what is it called on what uh ground will you do such a thing are you rewarding politicians who are who are stole the wet people constructing what is happening in nigeria as at moment then you are not uh constructing a golden status for half Meaning that you are you you are applauding her with the hardship we are facing. You are telling her and her family that they are doing well. So this is the problem. And the woman went to the donate one billion to so, so, uh, you say, university they something like that. They said we should be patient. Uh, you know, we said about that. You will talk apart from you will say the uh, you said the horseman 
it's not the cause of Nigeria problem. But it's the cause. Because right from this day of inception, without doing underground work, he said, subsidy is gone. Gone for what? Gone for what? No plans? When you are saying something A is gone, there should be plan B mm. to cop the situation. Because subsidy of it is not just something you just see with your mind. Even in this country, they pay subsidy. Mm. Because sometimes, you, like the health care now, that when you go to hospital, you don't pay. Is it not the government that is paying for the health? Yes. Is it not subsidized? They're not subsidizing. So our leaders, they don't, they don't just understand simple things. That's just the basic. And the fact is this. It's like they don't even go to school. School went through them. You understand? There is a difference between I, I went to school to study that. It's even the school that's even studying you. To know your character. Because that everything they, do, they are doing is... Is off key. They are off governmental principles. Mm. Because if you are there to govern the people, meaning that the people are going to feel your effects. Mm, yeah. They are going to feel the pain because up since 2050, that's now. We keep retrogressing instead of progressing. Mm. So, and which is not supposed to be. And we are supposed to be happy that, okay, Buhari came in. So, hey, Buhari does not uh, tolerate uh, corruption. But after all, they baptized him out with corruption. He couldn't even say words. You know, we were thinking that at least no government, will, no, no regime mm. will be as worse as the one of Buhari. Buhari. But now it's but like now we are not seeing seeing the presence, presence of Buhari. Yes, that is how he, this is what is happening right now. This is what is happening. And we regret it with uttermost truth that this government has failed. Even the Buhari has failed. Since 2015, in fact, we always give kudos to good Lord Jonathan. And he said it. He said, you people will miss me when I leave. But we didn't believe. We, uh, most people, I personally, I believe in Jonathan. Mm. I personally, I believe in Jonathan. But most people were being carried away by uh, NCT. They did not give the man a chance people to do what he want to do. Although the man was like, it was, for me, it was too meek for my liking. Mm. You understand? I love his principle, but it was too meek for my liking. In the sense that, there are things they are supposed to do with veto powers as mm. a government. Since you know, okay, now, after, imagine, do you know how much they budgeted for the COFAB conference? After the COFAB conference, they were waiting for the reps or the Senate to approve it. When you know you have the, what is it called, the, the power, the veto power, to say you sign it into law, whether the Senate or like it or not, is gazetted. Let this thing continue. Mm. But they couldn't do it. But the things that is not matter, they will impose mm. it. If you can impose things that does not benefit the people, but why can't you impose the one that is beneficiary? Mm. Mm. And uh, oh, you, you make mention of being milk, like yes. for the time of Jonathan. Yes. Don't you see that same character in uh, Peter Obi? Peter Obi is a principal. Is a principal man. See, wisdom does not demand violence. Okay. It demands your action. You understand? Just like I'm giving a contractor, I'm giving a contractor 30 days to construct these roads. You don't have to go and fight the contractor. You don't have to like dismantle them. If you give the 30 days to construct this road, if they're not constructed, take the contract and give it to somebody else. Mm. Simple. You understand? So you know, each time, do you know what I love about uh, Mr. Peter B? Every time this man, whenever the government do something wrong, they will always come out. Because his hands are clean. He's not owing anybody. And he doesn't borrow any money from anybody. And you don't want any government official to give him a contract or say, so that they will close his mouth. No. He will always come out to castigate the government, to blame them. And in the aspect that they, do, they, do, they are doing well, he will still praise them because I've seen it in one or two occasions. That it's okay. This step they've taken, like the, the local government autonomy, which they granted. Which they granted. He said yes. It's a good step to the right direction. Mm. So we always say this because we are observing the government. Because they are supposed to be accountable to us. But now they are not doing it. So Peter Obi is a principal man. He knows what to do at the right time. Let's give Peter Obi a chance, Nigerians. Because he's killing. Just imagine right now, people are buying petrol for a rate of 1,400. No, 1,140, 1,170, 1,170, 1,130. So why? Why we saw see happening in a, in a country that will not compare us to say, look at countries. They, the country they have been comparing with us, they don't have oil. Mm. You understand? 
So you are comparing with, uh, with you are comparing us with countries that does not have oil. Do you know Libya? Do Libya that have oil? How much are they paying? Schools, everything is free there. Mm. Even with ten dinar, five dinar, you can buy chicken. As at then, ten dinar to Nigeria is how much? Just small money. Is uh, if our chicken was even more expensive compared to what is uh, compared to the rate of uh, dinars in uh, compared to the chicken we bought in uh, in Libya. But look at today. Just look at today. If if you don't have thirty thousand, you can't go buy chicken. Or yeah. fifty thousand in Nigeria because last time I I visited Nigeria in August. I was in Nigeria throughout August. Mm. I just came in. Things were especially fast. I couldn't even use five hundred naira to buy anything. I was so ashamed, like God. Five hundred naira to not buy anything. Anything. Then when you walk five hundred, you know what it is. You know what you will buy a lot of things. The, the one that will shock me when I went to May Market in Benin. I went to May Market in Benin. I saw they, gave, they, they brought two picnic. They said this one is the old one. This one is the new one. So this old one, it costs, I think, about a thousand plus. Why the new one is eight hundred? I see the quantity and the quality of acid. My God. I, I just shook my head. It's finished. One picnic is one thousand plus. <laughs> Just a little picnic. I'm just telling you. We're buying the Bahodra, something around My Nara. brother, the situation is worse. It's really worse. It's really worse. So that is how we come in once just Nigerians. You have the key to change your future. You have the key to vote at this bad government. Let not be overclouded with this ethnicity and religion because when it comes, when the time gets this approach, you now see that there will be forming familiarity. Tell me that they love you by sharing a bag of rice by sharing because this is the money they've stolen you. They want to give you back so that you give them the power to steal more. Let not fall for this, they are tricks anymore. The, the good leaders are out there, they are even crying for people to vote for them. But people who don't vote for them, but they say you we are crying for right now, even like, like me now. I'm not, in fact, I don't need anything. I'm not, how would I call it now? I don't even need anything. There's nothing I'm lack of. Mm. I'm just shouting, I'm just explaining the grievances, I'm just explaining the frustration in the government just because of you people. But they say you today, somebody, there's a video I watched last time, somebody was showing a, a lot of bread for those local government people. That's what I wanted to ask you now. No, not even only local government chairman. During the independence day, yes, yes. they were sharing lots of bread. For what for? And at the end, now you now show some of that, some of the who has to bring their NIN. So I will use that one thing, man. Uh, to ruin the election. You understand? It's not good. You guys should leave all these peanuts. On that day, on that, somebody said, okay, if they give you, because we are hungry, collect, but don't vote for these people. Don't give them your NIN. That is your personal identity. Don't give them. Don't give them Nigerians. All right. Thank you so much, sir. I thank you, I thank you uh, for this very time. I never take it for granted. And it's I pray pleasure. that uh, you, your dream will come true. Amen, because amen. honestly, we have seen a lot of us Nigerians yeah, yeah. having big dreams coming to Europe, returning back home, go and do the worst. Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah, exactly. we've seen a lot yes. of politicians like that. Exactly. They've seen a lot of no, experiences, good and bad here, and at the end, when they return back to Africa, yes, they, it's really they are frustrating all because with it. Yes, it's really frustrating because do you know what? Some of them, the main cause of this is greed. Mm. Okay, after becoming a governor, say for instance, now, you are, maybe I'm your friend. You are in Nigeria, it's okay. It's like Mr. Julius has a good uh, heart, or he has wisdom to govern a do state or whatever which state I'm from. You understand? It's okay. I'm going to call him. Let's come. The water coming, maybe I'm not contested under the platform you want me to contest. Then after winning the election, you know you wanted you will be telling me what to do for the people and what not mm. to do. Just like that's what I said. If you really want to do something, you can become like Fubara is one of the example. Mm. You understand? Yeah. You must not do what the Godfather asks you to do. Even though it's meant for you to stay for only four years, just stay there and go. But do the right thing. Mm. You must not. Okay, just imagine. Of course, there's a rumor that's flying now. This man, the Cameroon president, 42 years yeah. as a president. What has he done for the people of Cameroon? Nothing. Okay, there's a rumor that's flying now that somebody said uh, the man he has slept. He has not wake up. Mm. See now. But although there is no proof on it anyway, but we are still waiting. Happen, they will not allow, they will not even announce it so that you understand. 
So what what on what effect does that for forty two years? No meaningful change. You keep to the power. You are still there. You said it's your inheritance or your family inheritance. We don't want that. Look at okay. The after doing all this, they will not go and spend our money to bribe Europeans, to bribe uh, American, UK to support them. The same people you are bribing, their system, are they bribing also like that? Don't mm. you see the way the government is going? Like the US right now, four years like this is for the Republican. The other year is for the Demo uh, Democrat. Democrat. That's why they are doing that, swabbing it. They are swabbing because they don't want all of that to be uh, too comfortable in that position. Because they are too comfortable, they will do undo. Mm. So that's why you see, they, they, they used to like swab it. And if they succeed to maybe a Democrat succeed to win for eight years, that is that is their luck. But it's not really, sometimes it doesn't go more than eight years. Mm. The Republican will come. So everybody wants to impress. But impress, if you want to impress, meaning you have to do the things so where people will see that what you are doing is good. Mm. So that is that. All right, sir. Thank mm. you so much. And thank we you, pray Mr. that uh, when you eventually get there, that you you do what is needed to be done. Yes, for sure. And for you sure. Uh, leave sure. a mark for us. Yes, uh, we'll to know that, yes, the one. beauty you are seeing right now that can, can be replicated. Ah, just look at you this understand? wonderful and edifice mm. beauties. Beautiful. This thing can be done in Africa. Yeah. And we have the, the most part of it. We can do it. It's not that we don't have the money. This is not put me to what is happening in Nigeria. What are the customs? What are the increasing tasks? Mm. Mm. What is custom increasing tax? Uh, what is it called? Import duty. Customs are not producing anything. What are the increasing taxes every year right there? Or for what reason? They said because of that, the, 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 the rising of dollars. Does dollar, what does dollar have to do with uh, import duties? Rising of dollar, what does that have to do with the, what, okay, what is the aim of custom? What is their duty? Are they there to control the dollars? Is it not just to monitor the, what is the inflowing, what is coming to Nigerians? Okay, then after monitoring the inflow, like these people who, are, who want to bet on the water side, they have to pay some dues. But why would they capitalize it as that? If any ship that comes, they want to just capitalize the rate of the dollar so the rate, because they don't know. It, it's, it's really painful that they don't really common economies, they don't even know. Mm. Okay, now by the time you charge an importer, you overcharge the person. So uh, 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 there's a video I saw two days ago. Somebody said they used to pay about either four million or seven million for a, a caravan. Nice when, container. A container to Nigeria, you understand? But right now, the container is costing 20 million. 20 million just to clear a container for what for Nigerian government? More than double. Double, more than double. Okay, do you, okay, now, do you people feel now that the same people who are crying, you know, okay, after clearing that container with 20 million, will that person pay, will that person sell the same rate that he was selling before? It can't. It can't. So this is why we are in this mess. But the government, Tinubu government, you poor have to open your eyes. You guys are going off ski. You understand? So that is it. Thank you, sir. Mm, thank, thank you, you very sir. Much. It's a pleasure, sir. God a bless pleasure. you, sir. Thank you.